Hi, I'm Malcolm, the developer of DND Sync, an app to synchronize Do Not Disturb between an Android phone and a Wear OS watch. If you have a phone and a watch from different manufacturers, then you'll know that out of the box, setting Do Not Disturb on one device doesn't update the other. I was using a third party app to do this, but it recently stopped working, so I decided to write my own. Today I'm going to install this app on my Samsung phone and my Pixel watch. First, let's do some setup on the watch. So we'll go to settings, developer options. Now, if you don't have this enabled on your watch, just Google how to do it, it's very easy. I recommend that you connect your watch to a charger as I've done here and turn on stay awake when charging. We'll also turn on ADB debugging and wireless debugging. Now, let me bring in my phone and we'll open Chrome and We'll go to the Freepot Downloads website and here's DND Sync. If we just tap on it, we can see that it gave us the option to download the file. And let's open it. DND Sync. Do I want to install this app? Yes. Scanning the app. Okay. Now let's open the app and it's got a very simple UI as you can see. Just tap to enable and it brings up the list of apps with notification access and we should find DND Sync in this list and let's just allow. Now my phone is on Android 14 still but if you're on Android 15, you'll have to allow access to restricted uh, settings to, uh, to turn on notification access. And I put details in the notes to this video as to how to do that. So now we're, we're done with the, uh, the setup and let's go to Wear Installer 2. And we're going to use Wear Installer 2 to install the app on the watch here. Now, if you haven't used Wear Installer 2 before, there's some explanation here about how it works and a video that you can watch <clears throat> with some further tips. But we'll step through it fairly quickly today. So first of all, I'm going to enter on Wear Installer 2's home screen, the IP address of the watch. And you can see that it's 192.168.1.222. Your IP address will be different from this. And you can see I've already done it in the space provided. So let me tap done. And now we need to pair the phone and the watch over ADB. So the menu, pair with watch. And again, there's some further explanation if you haven't done this before that explains exactly what's going on, but we're going to tap enable. And on this screen, we need to enter the pairing port and the pairing um, code and we can get them from here. So first of all, pair new device. And we'll see that the pairing code 
is 114418. So let's enter that. 14418. And then a space. And then the pairing port, which is shown here. So that you can see 40357. So 40357. And then tap done. We get a message attempting to pair. and successfully paired. So now we can enter the port of the watch, which as you can see is 41365 on the, uh, in the space that's provided there. So now we're we have the watch and the, uh, the phone paired over EDB. And if we go to the app carousel of installed apps on our phone, we should find DND Sync, there it is. And if we tap on this, we get a message to say that the watch app was extracted and we can install it. Send the APK file to the watch. This takes a little bit of time. It's going over, over Wi-Fi. Success, uh, APK file installed on watch. Now there's one further thing we need to do in Wear Installer 2 before we're finished. We need to give DND Sync on the watch a special permission to access Do Not Disturb settings. And we can do that by going in to the menu Third party apps permissions, DND sync, and send. And so the command has now been sent to the watch. We can finish. We get a message to say turn off ADB debugging on the watch. That's important to do so that we don't waste battery. So let me turn off wireless debugging turn off ADB debugging and you can also turn off stay awake when charging for the moment I'll just leave that on until we're done. So now if I go into my Pixel Watch and look for DND Sync it should be there and if I tap on it there's just a message to say permission granted so uh, that was the last step we did in Wear Installer 2. So nothing, nothing else needs to be done. Now if I come down to the uh, quick settings page on both my phone and my watch, let's see if this actually works. So if I now enable Do Not Disturb on my phone, you can see it's enabled on the watch. Turn it off. And let's see if it works the other way around. Enable on the watch. It is enabled on the phone. Turn off on the watch. And it's turned off on the phone as well. So I hope this app helps anyone who wants to synchronize do not disturb settings across devices from different manufacturers. You can find DND Sync and all my other free apps on my Freepot website, and I've included a link in the notes to this video. That's about it for now. Thanks for watching, and see you again soon.